As far as native 1080p projectors go, right now you have a ton of options, whether you want a portable one or a full size one you're planning to just keep at home, and they're all really low in price. So with all these options out there, you obviously don't know what to do, but we're going to try to figure that out because today we have the EasyCast Beam H3 portable LED projector with higher resolution and brightness. So they're really emphasizing the resolution and brightness here. Should be amazing. The light is sourced from an LED lamp. We have type C capabilities. We have native 1080p resolution, wireless projection from your mobile devices, a built-in speaker, as well as a multimedia reader. So, I mean, it really sounds like this is checking all the boxes and I'm pretty excited to try it out. As far as its wireless capabilities goes, it does feature a five gigahertz connection between your device and the projector. So it should be able to pass through a lot of data. And as far as that higher amount of brightness, it does feature 10,600 lumens of brightness, which sounds pretty good at least on paper. Now the box itself, very nice, looking good, pretty simple, but gets the point across. But what's on the inside of the box? Yeah, it's actually a little bit smaller than I was expecting. Inside the box, I have a user guide, a USB wireless adapter bag with nothing in it, so hopefully it's in there or something. A remote control to control the projector at a distance. This is kind of weird, I've never seen this with a projector, but we actually have two little chunks of foam here. I'm not really sure, but we, we got them. I mean, they're here for something. As well as a power cable, which looks to be a lot longer than a lot of the projectors that I've had before. All right, projector actually looks very nice. I like it. Now, the good news is I found out what those pieces of foam were for. Too bad I threw them on the floor. So these pieces of foam were actually used so you can prop up the projector if you want to shoot it at the sky. Like, I guess if you want to lay down in bed and project this onto your ceiling or which is pretty cool you can actually use this in portrait mode like if you're casting your phone to get a very tall display so that's pretty cool although i feel like they could have did better than throwing some foam in here but i guess it is what it is they had to cut costs somewhere am i right now as far as the projector goes it's a very nice matte white design looking good not a fingerprint magnet whatsoever has some nice grooves right here you know for design and music capabilities. And then there's even like a little crevice here so you can actually prop your phone up in there if you're projecting from it. So that's pretty cool. As far as controls go, we do have the remote control, but you can also control directly on the projector. We have a home button, up, down, left, right, okay, a power button, a back button, and a source menu button, as well as the focus dial right here. And it is very satisfying to turn, I like that. So make sure you focus this to get your image as clear as possible. Over on the right side, we have the power port. Over on the left side is where we surprisingly have all the inputs. We have our USB Type-C port, which is very cool to see, a micro SD card slot, a 3.5 millimeter headphone and speaker port, an HDMI port, a USB-A port, as well as a wireless kit, which it looks, it's not removable, but it looks like this is what was in that plastic bag that we had that was empty. So I'm not sure why that was in there if it's just pre-installed, but at least it's here. And then over on the back, we have nothing to see. Down here on the bottom though, we have four rubberized feet, sort of slip resistant, not too great though. And then we also have a little stand that you can screw out. So this way, if you need to project it up at a bit of an angle, you can screw it out and then angle it upward toward your screen, very nice. And it looks like we have the speaker down here. So we have a downward facing speaker, which doesn't sound too great to me. But then over here on the front, this is actually kind of cool. We have a lens cap on here. It's translucent and it's actually attached to the bottom of the projector. So this way you can't lose it. I've never seen that before, but that's nice to see because I always misplace lens caps. But this way it's impossible. And then we have the big 1080p lens right here, which is looking pretty cool. Let's close that back up to keep it nice and clean. And then we also have an infrared port right here so it can pick up the signals from the remote control along with an EasyCast Beam logo. So overall, this is a very simple, high quality feeling design and I really like it. So let's see if this actually packs a punch when it comes to actually projecting your content. What is Casa de Cama, Spanish for false advertising? All right, guys, we are back with the EasyCast projector and I got the good, the bad, and the straight up ugly for y'all. The good news is we have a native 1080p projector and it actually is native 1080p. The bad news is when it comes to native 1080p projectors, being that this is more of a portable design, it's not the best native 1080p projector that I've ever seen in my entire life. With that being said, the resolution is 1080p and it does look fairly good. As far as brightness goes, it's 
not that bright. It's definitely usable at night, but once you have lighting in the mixture, just like a lot of projectors on the market, the picture quality gets very, very washed down. It's not an enjoyable experience. The colors are represented very well, albeit not very bright, and surprisingly enough, text on the screen is actually surprisingly sharp. So if you're gonna invest in this to use during the day, you're gonna wanna get some blackout curtains to keep your room completely dark all day. To be honest, even in a completely dark environment, this projector leaves a lot to be desired. One of the cool things I really like about this projector though is it has an automatic keystone adjustment. So there's no actual knob that you manually adjust to adjust the keystone if you have it at an angle. It'll automatically sense everything and then straighten out the picture for you. So that's really cool, it saves you some time. Another thing that a lot of other projectors don't have, which personally I don't think I'll ever use, is portrait mode. I mean, you could put it on its side, although you don't want to block the vents. That's why it came with those foam things for whatever reason. But you can put it on its side and project a portrait video streaming from your phone. So that's cool if you want to do that. But personally, I would just be using a projector to watch movies and stuff. I don't want portrait stuff. I guess if you're on TikTok, then you can have TikTok with the family. As far as the actual menu navigation, which personally I hardly ever use on projectors because I just plug in an HDMI cable and I'm ready to go. I control everything else on the device that's plugged into it. But the menus are very slow and laggy and they're kind of annoying. So if you do have to deal with that, be ready to rip your hair out as you do it. At least that's how I feel. Every time something lags, I'm like, go, go. But you know, it is what it is. The wireless casting function works great. It's very easy to use and it's a great feature to have. So you can share your phone screen on the big screen whenever you want. As far as sound quality goes, the speakers are pretty bad but they're usable if you're in a pinch and you just don't want to plug in a speaker. But personally, every time I use any projector, I always recommend at least at the very minimum, a sound bar or a full on surround sound experience if you want to have that movie theater experience or, you know, plug in some headphones if you're gaming. As far as the fan sounds goes, this is definitely one of the loudest projectors I've had reaching the 60 decibel range and the built-in speakers aren't nearly loud enough to drown out the sound. So you're definitely going to want to have some external speakers cranked all the way up if you want to drown out that noise. And speaking of audio quality, this is kind of weird. It does have Bluetooth functionality, but the way they implemented it doesn't really necessarily make any sense. So you can actually Bluetooth stream audio from another device to the projector and listen to it in the abysmal speakers, but there's no way to Bluetooth audio from the projector to a Bluetooth speaker to improve your audio quality. What? Why? That doesn't make any sense to me. I'd want to do it the other way, if anything. Why would I want a Bluetooth audio to this? That doesn't make sense. I'm not going to carry this around as a Bluetooth speaker. But being that it does have Bluetooth functionality and it does have updates, maybe they'll update it in the future and make it possible because I don't see why they wouldn't do that. Now, as far as gaming goes, it's definitely doable. I definitely enjoyed the experience. I always enjoy gaming on a very big display, especially when you're playing with friends and want to do split screen. You can each have a very big 40 inch display or whatever size you decide to project it at. And that way you're not stuck in little tiny corners of a small TV screen. As far as latency goes, when you're gaming, it's definitely playable. It feels about the same as a TV to me, but if you're going to be super competitive and not just playing for fun, you might notice it, and you'd probably be more inclined to switch to a monitor that's specifically made for gaming. All in all, this projector is okay if you happen to really want features such as portrait mode, auto keystone adjustment, casting wirelessly and wired from your mobile devices, and Bluetoothing audio to the projector for whatever reason. But if you're looking for the best quality projector, I've reviewed a bunch of native 1080p projectors that were better than this one, although without some of these features. But if you're looking for the best picture quality, there's better options for around the same price, and I would definitely go with one of those. Personally, if you're not planning to take it around with you, or even if you are, really, they're not that much bigger, but get a full-size native 1080p projector because the picture quality is definitely better, a lot more sharp, and even the speakers sound a lot better on those too. But I mean, if you really want to put TikTok on your wall in a portrait mode, then this is definitely the projector for you. Go crazy with your TikTok dances.